Hey guys, welcome back. I'm coming on to do a layout for Shimmers Paints and I'm using this new collection for March. I went ahead and fussy cut all of these cute little pieces out that were on this cut apart sheet. Now I did not cut the ones out that were on this one because I find these like things with words and whatnot. I wanna be able to see everything all at once so I can choose quickly. This I wanna cut out so I can just start slapping it on my layout the moment I want to. So super pretty pieces. I really, really wish I had doubles of this collection. It is gorgeous. So let's see. I am super taken in by this paper right here, yet I want to use all of this fab gorgeous mixed media. I have got the color kits here as well as the bonus bundle, which is the most beautiful gorgeous pink. So I've got all of these pieces. I want to use them. I did swatch everything when I did my unboxing and such a pretty color palette. And I want to use all of these things. So a little tricky. So I know I want this for my background. Great. And I know I want to use this off the get as well. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and fussy cut this piece out because it'll curve around here nicely. Is that the way I think it should go? Yes. So it'll curve around here nicely. But first what I want to do is I think I want to come in here with some gesso on this piece of paper, some nice clear gesso, so I can do some mixed media on top of it. So what I'm going to do, gesso this all up. When it's dry, I'll come back and we will get working on this. So quick check-in time. I'm pivoting already. I created a cute little shaker pocket using this adorable little piece of leafy bits. And these are the sequins in the bonus bundle. So I wanted my photos to be kind of wrapped around it if possible, somehow. So I'm gonna do something kind of ishy like that. Then I want another little photo cluster, you know, opposite. Then I was like, what do I wanna do? Cause I really wanna get into the color kit. So I took this piece right here and went ahead and put some clear gesso over the whole thing. Awesome. I currently also have clear gesso on this. I just don't know which mixed media I'm doing on that yet. So we're going to wait on that. So I thought I would get started on this piece and I'm going to just set up a nice little palette. I'm not going to use the shades of gray on this. I'll use that on my background. And I've got these beautiful colors right here. And I thought it would be really, really fun to just watercolor all of these pieces in let them dry and then I'll have all of these really pretty die cuts. Give me a second right, to set so up. So what I have going on is I've got all of the color kits colors yet the one at the very top is from the bonus bum bundle. It's called Bubblegum Blast is right here. Making oh that, let me shimmy them down just a little bit so you can see them all. So that's Bubblegum Blast. The next one is an Inklings. It is called Sheer Bliss. Then I've got Loose Lips Pink Ships, which is an Inklings. I've got a Creamies and Paradise Punch. And then finally, this one in the tray, it is a Vibes in Ocean Water. So my idea, very simple. And I've got a little bit of water up top. So if you see me dipping over there, you know what I have going. My gesso, which I told you was clear. It's pretty dry. And I'm just going to rather simply color these up. Now I'm planning on doing them in more of a, and these are, these gray paint brushes are by Nuvo. And this is just cheapsy, cheapsy, cheap from, what do you call it? I think it's from Michaels. Okay. I'm just planning on popping in here and kind of doing a simple, simple little smudgy, smudgy, smudgy and letting it dry. And that is it. I want it to totally get the watercolor vibe on these blooms. And my thoughts are, if I'm too exacting with it, they won't. The cool thing is, if there's any little bits I don't like, like let's say I'm like, oh my goodness, I messed up, oh my. Gesso is super forgiving. Just get a little bit wet and you can smear that right off. Now, keeping in mind, I don't care. I just want it to be pretty. I would like to make sure that it can totally show through though the bloom. So this is 
what I'm going to be doing for this step. And I'm thinking around my beautiful little wreathy kind of vibe I have here, my circles, I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of splatters while I let this dry. So I wanted to get that just a little bit lighter in there. And then when I go ahead and cut them out, they're just going to have a little bit of a watercolor effect and that will be that. So I thought if I just do a few of each and that includes my gorgeous ocean watercolor, it's going to end up looking like a pretty bouquet going around and around. Let's see. Oh, let's do another one of these over here. Pretty, pretty. Now when the paint is still wet, it's always also fun to go ahead and drop in other colors. So for instance, I have got this bubblegum blast right here. And if I want to do a quick little zhuzh into the bubblegum blast, I can always hit it with a little sheer bliss and add just a little bit. I think what I'm going to do, because I want to be able to do that, I'm going to go ahead and put some of that into this well that I have here. So the colors that I want to mix won't mix in my pot too much. So super fun, just adding little bits to my other beautiful colors. Now this one's totally pulling down here. We can soak some of that up. Add just a little bit of that sparkle that's still on my brush. And mix, 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 mix. Let me do the same thing to this Paradise Punch right here. Because I know that I'm going to want to cross-pollinate a little bit. So I'm going to concentrate for a while on these blooms that are towards the top so my hand doesn't go into them, as well as the ones on the side. But how pretty if we just add little bits of this as well. Boop. So pretty. So that is my plan. Kind of boring to watch, but I thought I'd show you the direction I'm going in right now. Just messy, messy painting using this as a gorgeous adult coloring book. So I grabbed this loose lips pink ships and mixed it with a little bit of ocean water and got this really, really pretty light aqua shade that I'm rather smitten with. It's got a little bit more of a creamy looking color to it. And ooh, do I think that is lovely. So when you have all of your shimmers goodies, go ahead and mix them and see what makes your heart sing because you never know what little colors you're going to come up with. And it doesn't take much. It's just a dot or two of paint. So it makes it that much easier to give your, your products all these, or projects, sorry, uh, lots of depth because you have all of these different tones but they somehow all go together because you mix the paints. How pretty is that color? My Lanta, do I like that? Now right here, I'm going ahead and grabbing a bunch of Paradise Punch and putting it into that same pot. And I've got the most lovely orchid shade going. So I know you guys have seen color theory and you know all of that, but I am just creating my own beautiful little coloring book. And I don't anticipate using all of these on one layout, but I will have them all ready while I'm using this entire gorgeous pattern paper kit. But how stinking pretty are these colors coming together, y'all? So pretty. So this color I've mixed down here is Ocean Water with Sheer Bliss. And it is this gorgeous pearly, pretty like saturated mint kind of a color. Very, very pretty, but I am totally just playing with all of these gorgeous tones and seeing what I can get if I mix and match them. So that's what I have going. Thought I'd keep sharing with you as I went along playing with my little puddles of paint. So I'm gonna set these aside to dry for now and just work on getting whatever color is around my palette and whatnot splattered around in the circle so it can all dry at the same time. But I'll hold it up a little bit. You can see my coloring book. How fun are these pieces that will be all cut out for gorgeous little embellishments. I am so digging this kit.
So I went around on my gorgeous piece of background paper and did really heavy splatters. Now I done very, very heavy here because my photo cluster is going to be there and it's going to cover so much of this as well as over here. I do think I want to get, I don't know, maybe just a little bit more of loose lips pink shifts because I love the super, super pretty pink shine coming off of it super pretty okay i'm gonna let all of this dry and then we will put this layout together i'm starting to get my pieces here i still have to map my photos but i did want to start putting all of the pretties on so i think do i want to do this and have these layered as well that might be kind of cute and then i've got oh i could do this okay i'm liking this so we're gonna have a photo here Got these gorgeous florals coming like this for This Is Us. Then over here, let's see, we've got this big bunch of us here. This gorgeous, gorgeous pink peonies over here. Bringing that. A bit of a diagonal. That would be lovely. Let's do this and this. Okay, now we've got gorgeous leafy bits. That can tuck around the photo. Let's see what else do I have for my little die cuts. These were from that cut apart sheet. And then there's the ones that we painted up that are so uh, very pretty. We can tuck these in. Really love this orchidy shade that we are able to do with the uh, the piece I painted. I took this from this sheet here and just cut a cute little fishtail banner because I thought that would be exquisite. So we have that. And then I'm just going to do, I'm thinking just a couple of pretty little painty bits coming out. Now I need a pink one there. Let's see how I want to do this. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So I like the idea of pink. And then this one's a bit of a mix. No, do I want that? Hmm. Got some smaller ones too that are so pretty how they came out with all of our colors. So we have that, that. Let's get a bluey one brought in. So this is what I am looking at. I still have to back my photos. Let me do that. I'm gonna get all of these pieces attached down. Then we'll see about maybe getting some of these sequins here and there on all of our messy mixed media and really pull it all together. So I am loving, loving this. Love, love, love. So all I have left to do seriously on this is bringing sequins that we see here, shaky, shaky, kind of sprinkling them all the way around the circle and I think it'll bring it all together and that will be that. So I'll show you this finished project in just a moment. Still curling up a bit. I'll have to spring it back but everything's super super wet. But I wanted to show you some progress. How cute and fun is this collection. I am having a ball. Got a bunch of these to glue on with some liquid glue and I'll come back and we will finish this up. Guys, now I didn't bring it up before, I forgot. Um, when you go ahead to place your next order, go ahead and put my name into the comments so you can score yourself a freebie. Like why not get a freebie when you're making your orders? I'm just going ahead and going boop, boop, boop with some liquid glue so I can get these sequins right on top of them. I find it kind of works nicely if they get slightly tacky, the sequins stick right to them. So that'll work great. I'm gonna work on this for a minute. I'll so be back. that is that. I've got my little sequins are drying, going all the way around. And they're on the bottom as well with lots of painty bits. I've got my shaker. I've got all of these little pretty bits. I've got these gorgeous puffies that are our embellishment kit. And that is that for this layout. I will have links down below for the Shimmers Paints website, for the blog, and for the Facebook group. So any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now. Oh, still shots, right?